Okay, this is going to be a kind of a moment of truth video here. Here you can see we got the four 100 watt panels up here on the side of the house. And as we walk around here, you'll be able to see the other panels on, on the roof of the shop. You can see the panels up there. Okay, as you can see, it's a cloudy day. Um, this is the day where the uh, tropical storm is going through South Florida, so it's probably not going to get a whole lot sunnier than this today. Um, that's about as sunny as we got right there. And uh, we're going to go into the shop and see what the charge controllers are doing. Okay, let's make our way through in here. There's our solar setup right there. And right now our batteries, batteries are 13.5 volts on this charge controller. And we're getting 21 volts out of the panels that are mounted on the roof. That's not too bad. And, uh... Here's the big charge controller hooked to the panels that are on the side. Now, look at there. We've got 73 volts still coming out of the panels on a cloudy day at 13.46 volts. That's pretty impressive. That means that even on a cloudy day, we should still be developing enough power to keep the batteries charged. And we've got four military grade solar dry cell batteries in here. And uh, they're very high amperage. And we got the 3000 watt Renogy uh, pure sine wave power inverter. So uh, we should have some power. Now, that's not going to be enough power to power the house, but with any luck, we should be able to run the refrigerator and freezer, uh, hopefully like through the night, and uh, be able to keep, keep our foods cold and still have enough power for 3,000 watts. We'd be able to operate the microwave and probably the TV you know, for short times. So... Uh, this investment just might work out. I'm, I'm really, really tickled to see that uh, putting out 69 and 70 uh, volts there on a, on, on a cloudy day. I mean, shoot, yeah. Considering the other, the other panels that are, the panels on the roof, they're wired up in parallel and that's why they're only putting out the 21 volts, even there, even though there are multiple panels. And the uh, ones on the side I've got wired up in series, and that's why we're getting higher voltage out of them. And uh, so, yeah, that that makes me pretty happy. Like I say, you can, you can definitely see out here that it's it's not a bright sunny day by any means. So you can tell it's. Totally cloudy out here. See now even the sun's totally behind the clouds and we're still getting 69 volts. So uh, there's there's the proof of concept. See now it's a little sunnier that way. You know, it's starting to clear up a little that way. I don't know if we're going to get any sunnier weather today or not because the way the storm clouds are, are kind of circulating. Everything's pretty calm this morning but yeah, that's that's the old style Harbor Freight panels there on the roof, and then we got the uh, the two almost square ones there. You know the fatter ones. That's the uh, these two here. That's the new style Harbor Freight solar panels are selling now, and they're about $129 each. And then the uh, that one there 
and that there are our energy panels that we bought and uh, they were expensive as crap they were uh, probably I think close to $200 when we actually bought them I believe I remember right at any point uh, the Harbor Freight panels are doing just as well as the Renogy panels now so uh, Harbor Freight's come a long way in their panels uh, really really pleased with that so uh, I think our investment's going to pay off and may just uh, keep us having some power if, if uh, some bad hurricanes come through this season. That's that's our goal is to you know, at least have some some power because with gas prices nowadays, I mean, yeah, we we got a generator, but uh, as we've learned before, when you have a generator, if the power goes off in the whole area. There's no power for gas stations to pump the gas. You're not getting any gas. And then, so unless you have a whole lot of extra gasoline stored, and who can afford that right now at almost $5 a gallon, uh, I think this is going to be a lifesaver. So anyway, that's what we got. I'm tickled with it. I think our investment's going to work. Thanks for watching.